If the direction of the stimulus current is reversed, an impulse still appears, provided the current is strong enough, but only after the end of the pulse instead of during it. During the stimulus, no impulse appears, only small negative V and R waves. The negative R wave makes the membrane more excitable than normal, and when the stimulus stops, the V wave rebounds and becomes an action potential. Because the stimulating electrode is an anode instead of the usual cathode, this is called anodal break excitation. The equations used to make this film are a simplification of the Hodgkin-Huxley equations for the squid giant nerve fiber. Their equations describe the flow of sodium and potassium ions through the membrane. Excitation is caused by a momentary flow of sodium ions into the fiber which produces the action potential. The flow of sodium ions then stops and is replaced by a flow of potassium ions out of the fiber. This process constitutes the recovery wave. 